The Federation of Small and Medium Enterprises has been advocating for greater participation from financial institutions and a more streamlined process for accessing the fund. Only 7 billion shillings has been disbursed out of the 200 billion. And the challenges, I would say, are mainly due to uh, the limited awareness by the MSMEs, the unclear requirements when applying, but also the hesitance by financial institutions to lend at a, an interest rate of 10%. The participating financial institutions are Opportunity Bank, Pride Microfinance, Trust Bank, Post Bank, Housing Finance Bank, Diamond Trust Bank, Centenary Bank, DFCU Bank and Equity Bank. While these numbers suggest that some progress has been made in disbursing the loans to SMEs, it is still a relatively small amount compared to the 200 billion Ugandan shillings in the Small Business Recovery Fund. If they are planning for the people, I think we should be consulted first in that they get to know what we need so that they budget for us well. They argue that the limited participation from financial institutions is hindering the effectiveness of the fund in supporting small businesses. I think engaging them will be for another day, but for now we want to work with those that we believe have bought into the Small Business Recovery Fund and are willing to disperse. Of course, they have genuine concerns. They are saying, now you're asking us to give money at an interest rate of 10%, yet, um, you know, we are, our own money is being given out in that 20s or whatever. So this may affect the competitiveness of our own products. In response, Bank of Uganda and the FSMEs are working together to increase awareness of the fund and to encourage more financial institutions to participate. The upcoming awareness events at Umasho Grounds in Kampala, Soroti, Mbarara and Arua are part of these efforts. It can be like 5 million. 5 million can be enough to start this, big, this business because uh, most of the people here in Kampala, like if you have a very small stock, they won't buy from you. I only need some hard cash, nothing else. The effort of government and the central bank, along with the federation, to increase participation and streamline the application process are critical to ensuring that small business owners can access the support they need to recover from the pandemic. Wadulo Makanold, UBC News, in Kampala.